During the holidays, I like to make the foods that I grew up eating. Cookies are always on that list. Well, these are really special ones. These are chocolate kissed peanut butter cookies. You don't want to miss it. Hey guys, I'm Shireen with Cook This. Today we're making chocolate kissed peanut butter cookies. So first thing to get started in my stand mixer, actually I'm using the paddle attachment, is my sugar. And then, just a little trick for your peanut butter. Take some Pam, and then if you just spray the Pam onto your spatula, it makes it a little easier when you're dealing with the peanut butter because it can be a little sticky. And the reason why I'm using the paddle attachment is that way it just evenly blends because it's a little bit heavier than using the whisk. The whisk could kind of bend the whisk where the paddle attachment is made really for the more sturdier things that you're mixing. So into my mixer is my peanut butter and sugar. I'm going to cream these together. All right, about two minutes. Now for the salt, so when I'm baking, I always like to add a little bit of salt. It just brings all the flavors together. And then we need our leavener, so we have some baking powder right in there. And then some vanilla extract. Seems like everything in baking requires vanilla extract. And now for our eggs. So, if you notice, there's no flour in this recipe. These are really peanut buttery and awesome. My son, Costas, is a huge peanut butter eater. He's my wrestler, so it's a good protein for him. He'll, uh, he'll slap back many of these before he heads off to practice. All right, once this comes together, which is really quick. Then we're gonna form them into balls and bake them. All right, that's it. So you could do this dough ahead if you have so much going on during the holidays and you're making so many different batters. You can make this batter, prep it ahead, and then just put it into some parchment paper and roll it into a log. That way it holds for you perfectly. Right, and this is when my daughter Isabel will step in. She loves to help me out. She likes to get her hands in there, right? It's the best way to cook. So now you just want to take your cookie scoop. That way we have even consistency for even cooking. Or just use a tablespoon. You just want to roll them into a ball and then place them onto your parchment paper lined baking tray. Or if you have a silk hat, even better. Last one. Now into a 350 degree oven for about 16 minutes. All right, cookies are ready. So you know they're done when they almost sort of crack a little bit on top. So it's been about 14 minutes. And now we just want to transfer them right over to our cooling rack. So do you remember these when you were a kid? These bring back great memories. They've been around forever. These are the nostalgic cookies. So I just tweaked the recipe a little bit and mixed the flour, and these are really peanut buttery. So you just wanna take sugar in the raw, and then sprinkle it right over top of the warm cookie, and then, so it almost gives it like a little winterland sort of shimmer. And then we're just gonna let them set for about two minutes. So that way the cookie just sort of forms itself. And then we'll add chocolate kiss. All right, we're ready for the kisses. So you just wanna wait a little bit before you add the kisses because you don't want your cookies to fall apart. 
You want them just sort of set ever so slightly, but they're still warm where they'll sort of snuggle in that chocolate kiss. It'll melt on the bottom and then when they cool, they're perfect. For this recipe, go to the newspaper's website and visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. Happy holidays.